by Barista. Okay, so today I'm going to um, share something a little different. I got a wonderful question in the comments of the YouTube videos about a week ago, and I wanted to answer it. Anyway, so Stacy asked, can you show us how to knit fingerless mittens with art yarn? And so anyway, Stacy, great name, by the way. Yes, there is a way to knit fingerless mittens with art yarn. But that being said, art yarn is really not the best thing to knit a hard uh, wearing garment with. And by hard wearing, I mean um, things like mittens and socks, um, which, you know, socks you're walking on your feet all the time, mittens you're using your hands all the time. Art yarn tends to be pretty fragile. I'm going to show you an example. Okay, so I have, here's a couple of art yarns. Here's an art yarn. It's a single ply, but you can see it's kind of loosely spun. And even just the wear of this so this yarn knocking around in my, in my stash bin, um, it's starting to pill and, and wear a little bit. So same goes for, well, this one's not as bad. This one's a little more tightly spun. Um, and it's a, a, again, an art yarn single and it's not as, as textural. I don't know if you can see, it's not as textural as a lot of yarns can be, but it's pretty, you know, it's, it's still considered an art yarn. There's some small details. Now, of course, I have things like an auto wrap yarn, which is a little more hard wearing, but still it gets a little fuzzy and it especially holds true for yarns that you're like spinning locks into or lots of other textures. Those, those things tend to be a little fragile. So I'm hesitant to say you can make um, fingerless mittens with art yarn, but there is a way to do it. And, um, and I'm going to share that with you. Okay. So I have the, an example of these fingerless mittens and, and I wish I had a better example for you guys, but just bear with me for a minute. So when I'm wearing these mittens and these are made with some old Noro yarn, I've had these for years, old Noro yarn. And then I have some fun fur down here at the bottom. What I generally like to use for fingerless mittens is sock yarn. And the reason why I like to use sock yarn is because it sock yarn is built to be hard wearing. There's always some kind of fire be, fiber, be it tensile or nylon or silk that's um, carted into the wool and that gives it strength. Also, sock yarn tends to be um, plied and plied yarn is stronger than singles. So what I would do is I would knit you know, the main body of, of your fingerless glove or fingerless uh, mittens, probably down to, you know, to your wrist in something that's going to handle the hardware. Now, Noro not, isn't necessarily the best for hard wearing gloves, but again, like I said, there's, I would go with maybe applied yarn or a sock yarn, just something that's a little more basic. Um, and something that's spun pretty tightly. And then what I would do is just from this area down, I would put your art yarn. Just use it as a cuff. Or I would even do stripes of it maybe, do a couple of rows of art yarn, a couple of, a couple of rows of art yarn, you know, some more of your sock yarn, a couple of rows of art yarn, some more of your sock yarn, or even just a small edge. And that way you're still going to get the effect of an art yarn, but in a garment that's going to be a little more hard wearing. Yeah, that's another thing that when this stuff gets this kind of fuzzy and starts, and then you, you're going to get some of like your Angelina falling out. Yeah, that's, that's how I would add art yarn to fingerless mittens. Anyway, I hope that helps. So it's a quickie today. If you have any questions, um, leave comments below. And if it's a demo or something that I can answer online, I'd be happy to do it. There you have it. Okay. I hope you had a really good day today. Um, and I will catch you guys tomorrow. Bye.